never would have imagined what would what the story would be for this next film. And you can sometimes speculate, you know, afterwards you think, oh, where is this going? We do a and lot of speculating. Yeah. We do a lot of thinking, we think this should happen or that should happen. But basically I, I think sort of cynically nature and think, oh, we just should never do it again. It will never, it will never be fresh. It will never be special. And oh my God, it is fresh. It is special. Every time. It's, it's, it's honestly, I think it's better than ever, you know? Welcome to Downton. The critically acclaimed and wildly popular Downton Abbey franchise first aired in the U.S. back in 2011. And after six seasons, 52 episodes, and 69 Emmy nominations, including 15 wins, the beloved PBS series bid farewell in 2016. What more can we ask? A long and happy life together, just we two, to watch the children grow. That's all I want. And why not? But just three years later, in 2019, the Crawley family was back, this time on the big screen, with the highly anticipated film, Downton Abbey. Your Majesties, welcome to Downton Abbey. We're glad to be here, Lady Grantham. And now, more than a decade after the series premiered, the Crawleys are returning once again with a brand new sequel, Downton Abbey, A New Era, which will be released on May 20th, with Michelle Dockery and Elizabeth McGovern reprising their iconic roles. Three, two, one. Michelle co-stars as Lady Mary Talbot, the headstrong eldest daughter of the aristocratic Crawley family, while Elizabeth plays her mother, Cora Crawley, the kind-hearted American-born Countess of Grantham. The modern world comes to Downton. Between the last film and this film, there's only been three years. So it, it's quite funny because you, you go, oh, I haven't seen each other for a while. And, and then when you get back together, it's like no time It is, we just pick it right out. We pick yeah. absolutely. I mean, and we also see each other. We'd seen each other a couple of times, and you know, you do tend to socialize outside of work. But we we are like a family, so it is. It's so easy just getting back into character and seeing each other. Elizabeth and Michelle first met more than a decade ago during pre-production for season one. I think it was probably at the read through. Were you at the first ever read through? I was at the first ever read through, but I remember the mo my most distinctive memory is sitting in a room and we were listening to, I think, Gareth speak, and there were the three of you. At that time, mm -hmm. I had three daughters. You know my daughter Mary, of course. Of course, and Edith, Mary. But I don't believe you've met my youngest, Sybil. Oh. And they were all sitting together. Together. Do you remember that? It was day? a rehearsal. So it was we yeah. we done a read through and then I think a few days later there was a rehearsal and, and I think Alistair spoke. Alistair oh that's right, because I remember somebody speaking. I clearly wasn't paying any attention, but I remember thinking, those are my girls. <laughs> I mean I immediately adored Elizabeth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And also I'd been, you know, a fan. So it was and and know, knowing that she was doing it, it's when I came on board, it was Hugh, I think. Maggie, you and Brendan. I think those okay, were the, right. yeah. Okay. So I was very excited, you know, to work with these brilliant actors. And it was a, it was a big, big break for me. I, I'd never played, you know, done any kind of television that had this type of role. So I was, I was really excited. And we just all became very close very quickly, didn't we? We did, but I, I remember something else, which was, um, this is the God's truth. My first scene with Michelle, I remember thinking, oh my God, I've got to watch this girl because I have a lot to learn from her. And I'm not making that up. And Mary tried to look surprised. While Elizabeth and Michelle have been playing Cora and Lady Mary for 12 years, there have been some significant breaks along the way, which is why they've had to learn a few tricks for when it's time to jump back into character. Well, one trick is put on clothes. That'll work for you, oh, for me anyway. I think that's kind of it, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's basically get dressed. <laughs> yeah, then maybe you're not a bed. <laughs> when you're like, I think, I think after the, I think after the series, because it had been a long time had passed. When we were doing the film, I sort of was like, oh, I've kind of forgotten how to, how to play this role. And then you put the costumes on, and that's yeah. it. Yeah, and you start reading the lines, and then the I mean, character you comes really back to you. admit it, but it's not as hard as uh, a lot of things. After playing mother and daughter for so long, it's safe to say Elizabeth and Michelle have developed an incredibly close relationship off camera as well. It's quite emotional, really. Yeah. 
moments where we're just we sort of can't believe that we're here 12 I, years I, old. I think I get sometimes slightly confused. I feel I feel I feel so much love for Michelle, just like she is a daughter, and it's it's not something that normally happens to me. I really, it's true. I, really <laughs> I feel I feel so proud of her, and I feel like you know, um, if she ever has a rough time, I feel it in my bones. Uh, it's really, it's really nice. We are a proper, we're a proper family. <laughs> But unlike the series and the first film, Elizabeth and Michelle didn't get to spend much time together while making Downton Abbey a new era because, spoiler alert, their characters are separated for most of the movie. We didn't have much on this no. one. But it's strange at times because I, I'm so used to being with Elizabeth and Laura right. and Hugh and Alan, actually, we do, we do a lot together. And for, for this time, for me, it did feel like a slightly different job at times because we were doing the film with the You were film, so with the new people. With the new guy. Yeah, yeah. Me and, and Dominic and Laura, um, who were fantastic. We had such a great time. I do hope that was a prop. Shooting the film within the film was just, it was brilliant and hilarious and really funny moments. And Kevin Doyle was just, it was hard to keep a straight face with him because he's yeah. just a comedy genius. But it was strange at times when I looked around and I thought, I'm the only one here from the original cast. Everybody else is new. So it was quite a different experience for me and for Mary. So it was yeah. kind of right for the character. You steer ahead. You're the captain now. They better be warned. The British are coming. After so many years together, the cast often describes themselves as a family. And in fact, Downton Abbey A New Era was directed by an actual family member, Elizabeth's real life husband, Simon Curtis. No, it was it was it was good for the marriage. It was um, <laughs> I mean he'd become a guy that to me kind of just sits on the couch and watches TV. <laughs> like, that's what I think of him. And now I could see him you know, really at the top of his game, absolutely in control of this mammoth undertaking. Yeah. And it's really daunting to come in after we have been doing it for so long and take control. And what I, I'm especially proud of him because I feel that he, having done a couple of movies that had given him the confidence to do it his way to really inject his personality. You know, I think I think for the, a lot of the directors, they're quite intimidated by the fact that it, we've done it for so long. And and Simon had the confidence to say, you know what, we're going to do it this way. And it was just, it, I think it shook things up a little it bit is. and um, made everybody sort of um, perk up a little bit. Mm -hmm. So um, I felt I felt really proud of him. While the franchise's devoted fan base is obviously excited for Downton Abbey A New Era, they're also already looking forward to the possibility of a third film. Interesting because it's like we barely got this film out. Yeah, <laughs> and then to write another, another one. one. <laughs> so it's amazing because there seems to be so, it's the it's always the last question of an interview. It's like right. on the street that you meet, they're like, "Is this the last? Are you going to do another one?" So the That's appetite nice. out there is still really strong. So. Uh, but yeah, sometimes we're like, give us a minute. Let's get your friend. Yeah, I mean, it's that, it's, you know, the audience is, it's really important that the appetite remains out there. So we'll see what happens with this film. Um, and it's really, it comes down to Julian, you know, he's the one with the stories. Who knows what he's got up his sleeve. Um, so we'll see. We never know. We don't know now. We, we don't, we, we never know when we finish it, you know, whether we're going to do another one or not. So it's, it's always a kind of, you know, soft goodbye. <laughs>